was what? Logan. Um, we need to draw the um, whole boxes. We need to draw the whole boxes. So how many boxes am I going to draw here? Two. Two. Okay. And four on the other side. Yes, these are large numbers. Okay. What do I do next? Am I done? Hannah? He needs to draw one box for both of the fractions. Okay. So here's one box, and what am I going to draw in here, Hannah? You're going to draw three six. Which 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 way? Um, you're going to draw horizontally. Horizontally. So I need six lines. Oh wow, that's small. Okay. And then what do I do? You draw another box for two thirds. And I draw the lines vertically. Vertically, because I'm drawing them the opposite direction. Okay. Am I done yet with those boxes? What do I need to do? You need to shade in three on the three six box. Okay. I unfortunately <coughs> cannot use my highlighter when I'm recording, so I just have to do it like this. Wait, you're recording? Okay. Okay, so that's three six. And then you shade in two thirds on that box. Okay. What do I do next? Should I shade these? Just so we know that these yeah, are holes. I think that's good. <laughs> If you were shading these in, of course, you would shade them with a highlighter or a colored pencil, mm -hmm. something, a different color to represent each mixed number, but I can't do that when I'm recording. Shana, what do I do next? On the sixth box, draw, uh, make it, turn it into thirds, going vertically. Okay, so I draw thirds going vertically up here. And what do I do on the thirds box? You draw, draw six going horizontally. Good. I'm going to try and make this one a little neater. Okay. What do I do next? Well, first of all, I've just broken the sixth into thirds, and I've broken the third into sixths. Why? What am I finding when I'm breaking those boxes into the other fraction? Oh, Brooke. Yes, I'm finding the common denominator, correct? So now how many boxes do I have in both of the fraction boxes? I have 18. Okay, so what do I do next, Brooke? Um, next you're going to add, so you can choose either to move the boxes from the first grid to the second grid to the second one to the first one. Can we, since this first grid is awfully messy, can we just move these pieces over here? Okay, so how many pieces are shaded in the first grid? Fraction grid. Nine. It's, it's hard to tell. There's a little box right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to shade in nine pieces, right? Two, <coughs> three, four, five, six. Uh oh, I don't have nine pieces. What do I need to do? Two. If I do not have nine pieces and I need to shade in nine pieces, what do I do? Jillian. Um, you can draw another grid. Okay. How many pieces are going to be in this grid? 18. 18, because that's our common denominator. And then what do I do, Jillian? Then I shade in the three additional pieces. Okay, so now how many holes do we have shaded in? This one no longer exists because we have now moved those pieces to the fraction grids. Trey, how many holes do we have shaded in? Um, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven holes. And what is our new fraction? Tyler. Seven. Um, that is seven 
What is our new fraction here? Um, the new fraction is 3 eighteenths. 3 eighteenths. Why is that not the answer? Well, um, because we need to simplify it. We can simplify it. What can we divide 3 and 18 by? What do they have in common that we can divide them by? Well, uh, can we divide 3 by 2? <laughs> Can we divide 3 by 3? Can we divide 18 by 3? So we can divide them both by 3. So what if we divide 3 by 3, we turn it into? 1. And if we divide 18 by 3, we turn it into? 6. Can we simplify it any further? How do we know? Just by looking at Olivia, how do you know that we cannot simplify 7 and 1 6 any further? Once there is a 1 in the numerator, then we know we cannot go any further. So our answer is 7 and 1 6.